I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakodash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I want to say peace, mercy, and blessings to the hopeful elect. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means to exist or he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. Okay. And we are the Hebrew Israelites. Okay. Today we're being so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Latins, Hispanics. But we are those people that make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So-called white man is not white, he's red. They are the Idumians, <coughs> according to the Holy Bible. All right, what you're looking at is the verse of the day. All right, today is Thursday, June 6th. You know, according to Esau's standard, we about 20 minutes until it's Friday, June 7th. Okay, but I saw this scripture. And that's the uh, inspiration for this lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, right? And this is from the book of John, chapter 13, and verse 63. And I believe this is a red letter. This is Yahweh Shai speaking to the, the disciples who later became apostles, okay? So, let's bring this up in the blue letter. And it reads, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace, right? We're, we're supposed to have peace <clears throat> in Yahweh Shai. When we're at camp, <clears throat> when you're amongst the, the brothers, you know, that's your time where you can, uh, you know, be at peace and uh, relax, be comforted, man. You know, by the, by the spirit and by the energy of the other Akim. You know, it shouldn't be any schisms or tension, <clears throat> Or looking at brothers with the evil eye because, you know, where two or three are gathered, that's the I am in the midst of them. You know, we're supposed to be on one accord in this thing, one band, one sound. You know, so this is John 16 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. So the only place we're going to have peace is the word, is amongst the Akim, is with the brotherhood. And that's also our shelter and our protection. <clears throat> okay? It's, it's, that's how it's supposed to be. Okay? In the world, you should have tribulation. Yeah, while you're at work, you know, amongst your, your family. Hey, the scripture says, a prophet is not without dishonor, except in his own country. All right, Yahweh had two brothers that believed. He had two brothers that did not believe. Okay? But yet, when it came about who was up the topic, <clears throat> when the topic of discussion came up about who, is, who was his family, he said, those that do the work. Okay? It's all about doing his work, man. And the world, you should have tribulation. Now, what is definition of tribulation? Strong's G, 2347. Thelipsis. Thelipsis. And that says, metaphorically, stress, straits. <clears throat> Distress, straits, oppression, affliction. A pressing together, pressure. Okay. So, if you're catching hell, you no, know, of course it's not gonna. Of course it don't feel good. You know it sucks. Suffering fucking sucks, man. Okay, but there's a quote from a <clears throat> guy I listened to. You know, a motivational speaker by the name of Dave Pickakins, <clears throat> and he always says that you know on the other side of suffering is greatness. Well, that's the perfect example of that. Is who? It's our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. You know, and I'm just going with, with the spirit, you know, this is book of Hebrews chapter two. And verse 10, for it became him. And this is dealing with Yahweh Shai. All right. Yeah. And you can see up here, Yahweh Shai briefly humbled. OK, we're, what we're going through, we're, we're being briefly humbled, you know, for it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things and bringing many sons unto glory. Right. That's the elect. Okay, because Lord willing, we are that, that number. We have been given power to be called sons of the living God. Okay. To make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. So through all the suffering that we're going through, you know, financial issues, you know, car trouble, you know, woman issues, health problems, you know, issues with uh, budgeting, 
mental afflictions. You know, none of these things are to <clears throat> destroy you. Now, Satan will use that against you to try and uh, sift you, okay? Uh, to mentally agitate you, to uh, overthrow your faith. That's what it means to sift, you know? But it's not, it's not for that, okay? It's to perfect you, man, so that you can learn, okay? And you have to have faith that no matter what tribulations that you're in or you're going through, your Heavenly Father is going to allow you to overcome it because He overcame, okay? These things, <clears throat> these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace, and the world you shall have tribulation, distress, oppression, straits, okay? But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So we're supposed to be um, in a happy state of mind, okay? Just understanding that Yahweh Shai overcame this place, man. Strong's G2293, Tharseo. Tharseo. <clears throat> so we have comfort in knowing that our Lord overcame, okay? And we have faith that he's going to allow us to go to overcome, okay? It says, but be of good cheer, I have overcome this world. It's all about overcoming, man. And what the scripture says, he that endured unto the end shall inherit all things. Revelation 2. <clears throat> Revelation 2 and 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come, right? Hold on to your understanding. Hold on to your oil. All right? Because you got five foolish virgins out there. They ain't going to take no oil in their lamps. Yahweh Shah is coming as a thief in the night. We don't know the day or the hour, but we know the signs that precede the coming. You know? 26 and he that overcome it right overcome this world you know overcome the mark of the beast not taking that chip you know not conforming to this world okay not letting your sins weigh you down <clears throat> constantly enduring all right constantly improving and he that overcome it and keeping my works unto the end to him Will I give power over the nation? So, hey, we we have great things. We might have we might not have shit right now. You know, you might be, you know, struggling to have a roof over your head or <clears throat> living here to there or, you know, may even be homeless. Living out your car, job loss, you know, woman flipping out, you know. Hey, whatever it is, man, you know, understand that if you overcome there's four more greater things that we have to look forward to than this fucking bullshit that we're going through right now. And excuse my French, you know, Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcome it and keep it my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. So we're actually going to have power to rule and judge over these people. Okay. And new bodies with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, with spiritual power forever. Okay. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. So we're going to be the head. Okay? A trading of places is coming, man. Well, we're actually going to be able to enjoy life. Right now, we just work, pay bills. You're stressed about something constantly, you know? All right? <clears throat> this place is set up to kill you. Okay? As the vessels of a potter, shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So that's a... That's a uh, iron class rulership, okay? The elect are going to have a rod of iron-like rulership over the nations. They're going to have power. They're going to be judges. And everything that we lost, we're going to get that back a hundredfold anyway, okay? <clears throat> so I just wanted to make this lesson, man. Don't let the tribulations get you down, you know? Matter of fact, I don't even focus on the tribulations. Cast your burdens unto Yahweh by Shemi I was shot. This is Psalms 55 and 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord. Now, what's our burden? Tribulations that we go through. Okay? And a lot of times, the, the Heavenly Father here will put hell on you or allow you to go through hell so that you can call upon Him. You know, you will deal with family issues. You know, your children being sick or your children being hard-headed. 
you know, your woman rebelling against you. So you can turn to Yah Bashem Yah Shai, not being able to have a job, not having enough money, car trouble, okay? Then maybe that means you should pray more, right? So, um, so now, of course, I speak for myself first and foremost, you know, because we have to practice what we teach, but, you know, we're, we're practicing, we're, 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 we're building up ourselves and we're building up others at the same time, okay? So pray more. Psalms 55 and 21, cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. <clears throat> right, the Abba Shem Yahushua ain't gonna allow the righteous to be moved. Meaning what? Meaning to, meaning to uh, <clears throat> pretty much fall out of this truth, man. To go back into the world. Or to be overcame. All right, to have your faith overthrown, to be moved, man. Because a lot of tribulations, you know, they, they, some people could get offended at that. You could be moved, all right? And before you know it, you're confirming to this world, man. And, and you know, and that's why you got to hold fast to your crown. You know what I'm saying? And let no man take it. And the main man is yourself, is the man in the mirror, right? So back in Matthew 19, I believe it's 28. 27 look at that the disciples re reward then answered peter and said unto him behold we are forsaken all and follow thee what shall we have therefore that's what it's about forsaking this world not conforming unto it man and to follow the lord okay because even though it may tarry concerning these prophecies just like it says in the back of it will surely come it will not tarry we're halfway through the year 2024 okay the hopeful years jacob's trouble Right? 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, meaning nine times out of ten, a lot of the men that are in the truth now, they were followers of the faith in their past life. Regeneration, reincarnation, re back, incarnate in the flesh. Okay? <clears throat> that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, Okay, and that's during the second coming. Ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, and that's how you're gonna get power over the nations. You're gonna be judged. The Most High has set us up to be a nation of kings and priests. Okay, actually, let's get that in Revelation five. It's Revelation chapter five and verse nine. I'll start at nine. And get right to the point. And they sung a new song, right? New, we're singing it right now. Yahweh Bashem Shai, pretty much. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, dealing with the scriptures, man, and to open the seals thereof, open up the understanding, so the election get it. For thou wast slain, Yahweh Shai, he came to save his people from their sins. How did he do that? He was the sacrificial lamb for our nation. And has redeemed us to Yahweh by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. How is that? Because the Israelites are scattered among every kindred, tongue, people, and nation. Okay? This is all about the seed according to the Father's lineage, according to the Father. Okay? 10. <clears throat> and has made us unto our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So we're getting ready to reign on the earth, man. Okay? You know, so fuck whatever you're going through, man. You know, stay locked in. Matthew 19 and 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in a regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve <coughs> tribes of Israel. Right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to have, I'm ready to get, ye shall sit upon twelve thrones as a king, priest judge a ruler judging the 12 tribes of israel okay and every one that had forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life right so you may have lost so you lost woman on the side you know the lord said you're gonna get a hundredfold you lost houses hundredfold Hey, scripture says in my father's house, there's many mansions. You know? 
So whatever, whatever you lose on this side, tribulation you go through, whatever it is, does not compare to what we're going to receive. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So I'll give one more scripture. Uh, as it says in Romans, you know, these present sufferings are not worthy to be compared. book of Romans chapter 8 and see, I don't know what that's about but it's Romans 8 and verse 18 for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time your tribulation okay your afflictions your straits are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us Lord when we have the elect what's going to be revealed in us getting those new bodies being joint heirs with your house shy <coughs> Having power over the nations, sitting on thrones, judges, rulers, kings, priests, reigning on the earth forever with spiritual power. All right, having many mansions. Okay, and th this is this is what's coming, man. This is something to look forward to. That's why the scriptures is, is referred to as what the Comforter. Okay, so with that, I'm going to end it, and I pray this, that this has been comforting and edifying and exhorting. I want to give all praise to the honor and glory to Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Shalom to the elect. Stay strong. Keep praying.